and I've got a really simple and easy recipe and it's a gorgeous pasta recipe and it's a pasta carbonara so this is it here this is my new book and it's a recipe taken from my new book more midweek meals so this is it here so it goes through the whole recipe how many it serves and the preparation time and this is taken this is from the chapter home comforts so we've got a hundred new recipes and uh, four different chapters so I hope you really like the book it's a very simple and delicious uh, book with lots of lovely recipes this one here is very very simple we're going to cook some pasta and the pasta I'm going to cook is the bronze guy pasta so this is here and it's um, Italian egg so it, you can see the lovely color I'll just take it out and I'll show you this so it doesn't take long to cook this now any kind of dried pasta or you can use fresh pasta some salt into the water nice big pot of the the water and then we just literally put in our pasta in here now plenty of that and we're going to put all this in we're not going to waste it so it's uh, made um, with fresh egg and the technique is it's called bronze dye so when they make it they push it through a plate that it will catch this lovely sauce that I'm going to show you now in a moment so just a nice big pot of water let that come to the boil and we're going to have a nice hot pan here and some extra virgin olive oil so the base for this is very very simple we're just going to use some pancetta so this is cured Italian uh, bacon you could use some nice smoky streaky bacon so I'm gonna pop that in there and pancetta so cube pancetta you'll pick this up I just got this just in the local dumps and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this just kind of coat the oil around this so let this just cook away full heat I want this really lovely and crispy and every so often just throw your eyes over the pasta I'll put the lid on it in a minute I just want to loosen it up and I'm just using my tongs so the spaghetti won't take long at all to cook so we'll just keep the lid on there now just keep moving that around just nicely cubed you can see that there and it's going to get a nice bit of color in that but it's going to take a few minutes for that to happen okay a couple of cloves of garlic just peel them we're just using the garlic crusher we're going to put two in here and that's going to give lovely flavor so just literally rock the the uh, garlic crusher just over and back and we'll put that in a minute I don't want to put it in too soon now lift that lid off there just let that cook away so just keep moving this around so just use olive oil you can use a little bit of butter if you want it and then just you want to cook the pasta until what we call it al dente so it has a little bit of a bite and then we're going to keep some of the pasta water because we're actually going to put that in to the eggs so uh, I'm using three full eggs and then one egg yolk so the three full eggs here and this is going to kind of coat and enrich the sauce and the key into this is not to cook overcook it or else you're going to be left with scrambled eggs so I'll just literally put separate so the egg yolk is important because it gives a lovely richness to this sauce so that goes in there and then we just literally whisk this now I will put in a little bit of pepper so three full eggs one egg yolk this recipe probably enough for about four people now back on to the pancetta it's cooking up lovely see that lovely foam there gorgeous so you do want to get this lovely and crispy so that's why I keep it on a nice high heat and then every so often just have a little look at the pasta so you can see that beautiful pasta there so it's a fresh it's um it's made with fresh eggs but it's a dried pasta so it's dried so it is and then just the process is the bronze dye that goes through a metal plate or a bronze plate just to uh, create that texture that will catch that lovely egg parmesan kind of like a uh, mixture and it's gorgeous you see that's foaming up there that's lovely i'm happy with that now i'm going to turn that right down so i kept it on a really high heat and that's the key into this we're going to add in this parmesan cheese okay so 30 month old parmesan cheese i'm going to add in that and i'll just mix that through just a full packet or you can use the fresh degraded one so this is a 30 uh, month old i got to meet this producer we're going to put in the garlic i don't want to put the garlic in at the start because it'll burn okay so just literally put that all in there and then just coat this mm. now we can literally just turn that off now that's going to hold its heat and then just combine everything together black pepper lots of lovely black pepper in here so we just have salt in the pasta water 
and with the pancetta that'll be a nice little bit of saltiness in there i'm going to put in a little bit more salt and i'm going to switch my pasta the uh, off so i am so you just combine this all together so three eggs and one egg yolk and then that lovely parmesan cheese and black pepper so that's what you're looking for there okay what we need to do is just literally take out a little bit of the water okay it's so about that and i might pour a little bit more just be careful of that so now we're going to loosen up this is going to loosen up the salt Aston, no need to refresh it just to receive and then bring it over so what we need to do now is to add in just take it off the heat and just mix everything together and even like this it's delicious but we need to lightly lightly very lightly just cook our eggs because if you overcook this you're going to be left with scrambled eggs so that goes in there and then the pasta water that's just half of the water and then just lightly kind of kind of coat the pasta with this the pancetta so it's off the heat remember that the heat of the pasta is going to cook this anyway lovely yeah so just lightly coat that give that parmesan cheese just give it a good mix yeah i find the tongs the easiest to do this and the rest of the water we should have enough salt in it but you can always taste it and then just literally just kind of see that just loosen it up a little bit and that's it so there's no cream in this there shouldn't be cream in it in the authentic one and this is just so delicious you're just coating that pasta just keep moving it around and then it's ready to be served it's mm, good the parmesan cheese is the winner for me absolutely delicious yeah even like that, you can place that at the centre of the table. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm just going to literally get a portion of it. It's not always the easiest to do. And then just literally kind of pick it up. You can see that lovely steam. Look at the steam. Ah, yes. So just some that. So you've likely just cooked your um, pasta al dente. And the key is not to cook, uh, cook it. Put it back onto the heat. The heat of the pasta and that lovely little bit of pasta water will cook that. I'm going to get a little bit more of that. You can see it's not an easy one to serve up. And just a little bit of cleaning. And then more grated parmesan cheese. And just a little bit of basil. And that's it. It's as easy, easy. So simple. You could throw in some peas into that. And your kids might like that, but it's a real quick recipe. So three eggs, egg yolk, parmesan cheese, little bit of fresh basil just over the top and there we go really simple done in real time the key is they're really good for uh, pasta so i'm using the fresh egg the dried pasta so i am and that lovely parmesan cheese and the eggs in that and it's a recipe taken from a new book morbid with meals so hope you enjoy this very simple and delicious recipe